This video is sponsored by Raycon. So the new year is here, and that means New Year's resolutions are in full swing. Whether it's work, working out, or relaxing with some music or audiobooks, Raycon's everyday earbuds have you covered, and have been my personal go-to for all of those things for literal years now. With 48,000 five-star reviews, the everyday earbuds sport a noise-isolating fit, seamless Bluetooth pairing, a variety of colors, 32-hour battery life with 8 hours continuous playtime, and on top of all of this, they come with a number of optimized gel tips and won't fall out like a lot of other brands, which to me is one of the most important things. Here's my brother awkwardly doing a shake test. Okay, more violently now. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. The everyday earbuds come in at about half the price of other premium audio brands without sacrificing quality, but you can save even more by going to buyraycon.com slash rainbot for 15% off. In the end, if you decide that they're not for you, then just take advantage of Raycon's 45-day money-back guarantee. Again, that's buyraycon.com slash rainbot for 15% off. Just in case you missed it, my last video was about a website that contains some very troubling content involving children, and I have to admit that by the time I finished making said video, I was left feeling somewhat frustrated. I've reported whatever I could, and whether or not any of this makes a difference is yet to be seen, but nonetheless, I wanted to see if there was more I could do somehow. If you head over to the official FBI website and go to their wanted listing, you'll find a special page dedicated to a program called ECAP. ECAP stands for Endangered Child Alert Program, and it was founded jointly in 2004 by both the FBI and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children with one specific goal in mind, and that was to draw attention to adults dubbed John and Jane Doe who were spotted in child sexual abuse material, be it photos, videos, audio clips, etc. Now, having said that, nothing I'm about to show you is inherently graphic. The FBI does make sure to censor the images slash video before their release. But despite all this, of course, if you're sensitive to this sort of subject matter, then I highly recommend skipping this video. If you do decide to stick around, however, I will be issuing extra warnings before each suspect as needed, just to give you an extra heads up. I am also going to link the ECAP page down below, and if you think you have any information regarding these people, I'm going to ask that you follow the instructions provided on the FBI website and notify them ASAP. I don't have the power to arrest people, so please prioritize that instead of sending leads my way. And with that all said, I'm sure we're all dreading this, but let's get into it. First up is a man dubbed John Doe 5. The first several of these suspects I'm going to show you don't have a whole lot as far as clues go, but nonetheless, I want to ask that you take a good look anyway. According to the FBI, John Doe 5 was spotted in images of using young children, and said images were found online. While his current whereabouts and identity are unknown, he's described as a white male in his late 30s or 40s with dark hair and dark eyes. His most distinguishing feature is a mole on his left cheek. A composite sketch has also been provided. Next up is John Doe 8. According to the FBI, images of this person abusing a young girl were found in a video online in May of 2005, and to this day he still has not been identified. We can see from the photos that this person has dark hair and a light complexion, but the only other bits of possibly identifying information are this mark on his right forearm and this ring on his left hand, implying marriage. The FBI estimates this individual to be approximately 180 to 200 pounds. John Doe 19 is alleged to be involved in the attempted sexual exploitation of children and the sexual abuse of a minor. His report states that images of him were found in a video that was being traded online. No official description is provided for the suspect, but based on the three images provided, we can see that he's got short dark hair along with some kind of necklace. He also appears in the photos to be relatively young, maybe in his late 20s or 30s, although no date was provided for when these images might have been created. Nonetheless, a pretty good portion of his face is visible, and anyone who might know him could still recognize him. John Doe 40 is a white male between the ages of 30 and 40 and is believed to have critical information pertaining to the identity of a child victim in a sexual exploitation investigation. Unfortunately, this is another case where not much information has been provided, but he's described by the FBI as being heavy set with dark hair and also speaking English in a video believed to have been produced prior to October of 2017. Whether or not John Doe 40 had any specific accent isn't mentioned, but investigators have provided a composite sketch to approximate his appearance. Up next is our first Jane Doe. Jane Doe 37 is a white middle-aged female with dark hair and thick glasses, and is believed to have critical information pertaining to the identity of a child victim in an ongoing sexual exploitation investigation. 
The FBI claims that videos containing Jane Doe 27 were first discovered in June 2014, but data extracted from their files indicate they were produced in April of 2012. They also add that audio from The Land Before Time is heard in the background of the video in question. A composite sketch is also provided here, but the FBI adds that due to the age of the images, this person's appearance is likely to have changed by now. John Doe 41 he appears to be the youngest suspect on this entire list, with the FBI putting him at about 18 to 20 years of age. Just like the last few suspects, John Doe 41 is believed to have critical information on the identity of a male child in a sexual exploitation investigation. The video in question here is believed to have been produced between 2016 and 2018, and appears to primarily occur within a bathroom. Quite a few images are provided here, but unfortunately we don't see as much of John Doe's face as we'd like. The first two pictures are both close-ups. John Doe 41 can be seen wearing glasses and a white backwards hat. He also appears to have light facial hair and mild acne. The rest of the provided images are the interior of the bathroom. A tub and some hygienic items, a toilet and blue patterned shower curtain, more items, and finally a door. Note the coloring and weathering on the image's left side. Next, we have Jane Doe 35, and our very first audio clip. Before we get to that, though, the FBI states that Jane Doe 35 is believed to have critical information pertaining to the health and welfare of a child. They also note that this person is not the subject of a criminal investigation, but nonetheless, she seems integral to solving one. Jane Doe 35 is a white female with brown hair. Her age is listed as unknown, but images have been provided that give a pretty good view of her face. The FBI also adds that in the audio clip, she can be heard speaking English with an accent consistent with the North American dialect. Said clip features Jane Doe 35 talking for roughly four seconds, and nothing inherently disturbing is apparent. What are you doing? I'm left my belly. This is John Doe 13. And this time we finally have video, albeit low quality video. According to the FBI, images of this man show him sexually abusing a young girl. He is described as white, balding with brown hair, and approximately 180 to 200 pounds. No further information is given, but the video appears to have been taken via webcam, possibly from a hotel room. No audio is available either, but we do see what looks like a gray couch in the background, along with what might be a pet jumping onto it in its final frame. A few stills are provided, and from them, a composite sketch was created. Jane Doe 36, according to the FBI, is not the subject of a criminal investigation, but is believed to have critical information pertaining to the health and welfare of a child. Jane Doe is described as white, between 30 and 40, with long curly brown hair. The images you see here are presumed to be from August 2016, and in them, Jane Doe is wearing a pink top and black pants with polka dots. Also provided is a shot of the location where Jane Doe was pictured, and while this is only going to be recognizable to anyone who's actually been here, I'd like you to take a close look anyway, just in case. Coming up next is an individual known as John Doe 29. It's not clear if this person is the subject of a criminal investigation or not, but the FBI suspects that he has critical information on the identity of a child in an ongoing sexual exploitation investigation. They also explain that images of John Doe 29 were first uncovered by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children in January of 2008. And it seems that over a decade later, all that's come up are dead ends. Here we see a silver ring on John Doe's left hand, and here a child's Nike shoe. The next image is of the location's exterior. Note the pattern of the groundwork and the tree line that's off in the distance. There also seems to be a building in the background. The next photo is another exterior shot. The foreground featuring what's presumably a wooden bench, and in the background we see a pool and some chairs. Again, note the presence of the greenery in this shot. Last, we have this. It's mostly covered, but what we see is more of the same brick path, and we also see a bit of what seems to be either a stone or faux stone wall, along with what's described in the caption as a table. Although these images are rather old at this point, there's still a pretty good chance that some of these structures remain intact. That said, if you think you know where this is, but you might not be sure, then what I recommend doing is going onto Google Maps and checking out the location and seeing if there are any landmarks that you can match up. Here we have Jane Doe 39. This is one of the few unidentified individuals currently listed that the FBI created a video for, so I think it's best if you take a look for yourself at what they had to say. 
The FBI is asking for help to identify a woman who may have information about a child victim in an ongoing sexual exploitation investigation. The unidentified woman, who investigators refer to as Jane Doe 39, is seen and heard on a video produced sometime before April 2016. Take a listen to Jane Doe saying you can't play with this on a loop in Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Special Agent Susan Romash describes the woman. Jane Doe, 39, uh, appears to be an Asian female between the ages of 25 and 35 years old. She has long black hair and she can be seen wearing a multicolored floral dress. Jane Doe, 39, is being sought as part of the FBI's Endangered Child Alert Program. The goal of the Endangered Child Alert Program is to identify offenders who are involved in the sexual exploitation of children and in turn to prevent any further abuse of those child victims. Report tips to 1-800-CALL-FBI or visit tips.fbi.gov. With Wanted by the FBI, I'm Molly Halpern of the Bureau. John Doe, 17. This is probably one of the worst entries in this whole video, and I'll get to why in a second. The FBI states that John Doe 17 is alleged to have been involved in the transportation of child sexual abuse material by means of a computer. They describe him as a white male, approximately 210 to 250 pounds, with curly brown hair. We don't get any additional info as to the date of the images, but we are provided with brief audio and video. Just a disclaimer, what I'm about to show you is not inherently graphic, but it does involve an adult male seemingly asking a child to try on swimwear. The child's voice, of course, has been removed, and the audio and video separated. The clip in question is just a few seconds long, and features John Doe 17 standing in front of a bed with white sheets and dark pillows. We see John Doe pick up what appears to be a child-size one-piece swimsuit, and then the clip ends. Here it is again, but slowed down. And here's the audio. That way we can see how the suit needs to fit you. See, if, we take, if he takes those pictures, then he knows what the suit what needs to look like. All right, let me put it over your head, and you can put your arm. Now remember, this is his suit. Looks like it would be nice and cool in the summertime, though. No, I didn't say we could go swimming. Swimming is, uh, it's too cold out. Well, more than I want to pay for it right now. I think that part goes in the front. I think it's shorter than the other side. I think it goes in the front. Take them off your feet and turn them around. Try that and let's see how it works. So the last bit about John Doe 17 that we need to talk about are the last couple images provided. As you can see here, there are close-ups of John Doe's sweatshirt. The caption reads, If suggesting Phoenix Sun's logo, please be specific with the year or origin of this particular design. My researcher Lux took it upon himself to try and track this thing down, and here's what he came up with. As you can see, the exposed parts of the pattern appear to match up pretty well with the image seen in this listing. This was posted to Lux's Twitter, and here's a response. A follower claiming that the design in question was used between 1993 and 2000. Now, we obviously can't tell for sure if this is what it is, but nonetheless, Lux has passed on this information to the FBI. If you think you can better identify this article of clothing, as always, please submit a tip. And with that, we've arrived at our last suspect of the day, John Doe 42. I will say out of all of them, this guy pisses me off the most, and once we get to it, I'm sure you'll see why. Just as many before him, John Doe 42 is believed to have critical information regarding the identity of a child victim in a sexual exploitation investigation. A video featuring John Doe 42 is believed to have been produced prior to October of 2015. The images provided are all of John Doe's face, two of which show him looking directly at the camera. As you can see, this person is a white male, probably around 50 or 60, and balding. The audio clip provided is brief, but some might find it disturbing given the context. Again, nothing overtly explicit is depicted, but nonetheless, please proceed with caution. It's nice, though. <laughs> well, wasn't that entire video just horrible? Anyway, like I said, information on ECAT will be posted down below, and if you think you have any info, please alert the FBI immediately with as much detail as possible. This video was written and researched by yours truly, with additional research by Lux Noctis, and editing by Darkfire Productions. As always, thank you so much for watching, and an even bigger thank you to the following people. 486DX33MHS 
Astro, Bloody the Elf, Daniel G, Danny H, David G, Eric M, KMBK Ketchup, Lizitar, Mishi Mishi, Sol A, T Gorman, TBF, T S Elliot Smith, Valerie T, Zombies Were People Too, Aesthetic Vamp, AJG, Andrew R, Bad Baphomet, Biznacker, Brandon F, Chris M, David L, Horachan, H Liebebrot, James M, Jamie M, Julia R, Longfoot, Luck B, Matt J, Mega Brutal, Nick B, Sarah L, Scaredies, Scarecrow, SPC Zippo, The Deck of Cards, Sarai, Zumbledorf, The Calzone Consumer, and Saint Maxi. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're still here, I don't really know why you're still here, but I'll see you next time.